Welcome back everyone. In this video, we have been without power for three days after Hurricane Minton and the powerful tornado winds. We're doing cleanup and cooking outside. Before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer. Good morning, Jesus Christ. Thank you for this moment. I am so grateful that I can begin this day giving you praise. I recognize today is unique. I will only have one opportunity to live for you this day. We are taking one day at a time. Please help us to make the most of it, Lord Jesus Christ. Help me hear your voice as I seek to honor you. And I thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. If y'all like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you guys, we don't have any power, so uh, we're cooking outside. And y'all, they tore all the screens off. We have an electric mower, so we did cut our grass because, you know, it was raining a couple of days before the hurricane and the tornado winds that came. And um, we just kind of like cleaned up. We had to do a lot of restructuring. We put up a cow panel because our dogs, um, everything was kind of like uprooted. So I bought some more plants and put in the ground uh, right before the hurricane. And uh, this is the chicken house. We have some issues with the pool. So uh, we're trying to get everything back up and running, but everyone is fine. All the chickens are fine. It's just, you know, since we don't have any power inside of the house, we're just doing what we can outside. We picked up a lot of the debris. The pool is black. It is black. Y'all, look at all the little frogs. Look what the storm brought. All these little swimming frogs. So yeah, we have been cleaning up a lot. We picked up a lot of the big debris and uh, kind of like blew it out a little bit back here. We just stopped to take us a lunch break because we've been working all day. And uh, my husband, um, we have some chicken over here that we're going to, uh, we're going to be uh, putting it on the grill. We have marinated it. And we have some sausage dogs, and we're just going to have that tonight. Some uh, barbecue chicken and sausage dogs. We're going to chill out and drink us some wine. Look what my husband did. He built us a beautiful fire. How you doing over there, sweetie? Yeah, hey they have a family. We're working hard today, but we're getting it done. About yeah. to wrap it up and eat a little bit now. Yeah, we've been picking up a lot of debris from the palm trees. I did cut the grass um, while my husband's working on the pool pump. Because uh, for whatever reason, it wouldn't start to get the water circulating. You know, this is one of the better days that we have had outside of the rain. So, um, and it's nice and sunny. So we're trying to uh, clean up everything, cut everything back, which we have done. A lot of our structure, I don't know if y'all saw the other video, we had an arch here. A lot of the structures was blew down. And uh, a lot of our plants and stuff was uprooted. So we went on and fenced that section of the yard out with the uh, cow panel that we had. And uh, just to keep the dogs off the fence and to keep them away from the newly planted uh, plants that we had. A lot of the plants were uprooted and um, the dogs was just getting a hold to them and carrying them around the yard and eating on them. And, you know, I think they was a little nervous during the hurricane. They started digging holes because it was wet and soggy, especially uh, my panther girl. She loves water. So she loves water. So, you guys, we're going to put us some good old chicken on the grill. And we probably eat it with some salad or something. But yeah, we're going to sit out here and drink us some wine and enjoy our night.
you know, um, we lost quite a few oranges off the trees, you know, and they got like this black stuff on them. But uh, that's okay, as long as the tree did not get destroyed. So yeah, the mulberry, uh, the blackberry tree, we cut it back tremendously, y'all. I cut the canes back tremendously and we'll get another fresh flush of bloom in the uh, springtime and also the grape plant you know a lot of it got destroyed and thrown about so I had to cut the canes off of it here's one that need to come out but yeah we had a really really heavy windstorm so yeah but uh, we were able to save what we could and we also um, cut back the uh, knockout roses and my trellis rose here. We cut that back, but it's still doing magnificently. It is doing well, y'all. We took a lot of the canes off of it. Guys, this is our garden. I have already plucked all the radishes out because it was time to bring them out some of them were little some of them big so we just took it out but the this is the kale and you know because we lost some of our plants but yes i took all the radishes out that was there and um the corn i just got rid of it because uh it wasn't any good and i'm gonna clean the rest of the beds clean the rest of the stuff out of the beds because uh, nothing survived but I saw some other things that is peeking through so I left it like uh, my squash is doing pretty good and this porcelain here that's no good but uh yeah this is what we have we have a few tomato plants that survived and we have lots of kale and I went on and picked whatever collard greens that we had. They were little. I just gave them to the chickens, y'all. So, you guys, I'm going to restructure my garden and uh, try to get everything uh, up running again. And my romaine lettuce. My romaine lettuce, you know, uh, it's turned over. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, refill that bucket and restructure the basil. So, yeah. This is all the debris I have collected. We just stopped to take us a dinner break. And then we're going to get back on to it. I have uh, cut my uh, raspberry plant and the grape plant. But the the uh, lemons are doing really, really well, y'all. Look at there. They're still doing well. The oranges are doing well. The hibiscus are doing well. You guys, we are going to have roasted asparagus and roasted radishes from my garden. You guys, this is the cherry radish. I grew it in my garden. I just pulled it up, cleaned it, and I seasoned it with garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And I put a little olive oil uh, over the green beans. And you guys, I'm going to roast these radishes. We're going to have some uh, barbecue chicken, some all beef hot dogs. And y'all, we're going to enjoy our evening this evening. And it's a surprise. One of our neighbors, uh, he came by and he brought some potatoes to go with our meal. He cooked it with his generator. So you guys... My neighbor's so wonderful. He brought us some fried potatoes, you guys. And we have some chicken. I'm getting ready to serve us up. So watch out for this. You guys, my neighbor cooked some uh, some fried potatoes on his, with his generator. Thank you, Mr. Mister. So y'all, 
we have so this is what we have for dinner we have some chicken and we have some sausages y'all can dig in guys we have some chicken some sausages and we also have our wonderful vegetables everything cooked on the grill that's how you do it in the power outage Yep. Let's get this off the grill. It's asparagus and uh, roasted uh, roasted radish. You guys, having good neighbors is a blessing. Is it's just one of these times in life, you know, you just think, have to thank the Heavenly Father, you know, for the weeks that you are giving. You know, God is so awesome. And he's worthy of all attention. I just thank him and give him honor for just, you know, uh, that we didn't have total destruction and had to spend out a lot of money. It's easy cleanup for us, you know, get the pool running. Uh, I, I don't know if it's an electrical problem, the pool pump wouldn't come on, but my husband has called an electrician to come out and uh, check it out. And you guys, we're going to get that running and do some major pressure washing. Y'all, I'm showing y'all the barbecue sauces. We got Sweet Baby Ray's. We have Sonny's Barbecue. That's a local uh, barbecue chain that's here in Jacksonville. Sonny's Barbecue. Uh, they make their own sauce, and it's pretty good, y'all. So, yeah, that's what we're having. Just being thankful and, you know, not stressing out because the power is outage. There's no uh, lights or can't watch TV, can't do anything. We can do all that stuff on our cell phones. And, uh, but on the part I just disliked about it was the cold showers. You know, we had to take cold showers because, you know, the electricity's not on with the hot water heater. But, you know, it wasn't raining after the storm, but a little bit. So this is the, this is the uh, third day and it's looking pretty good outside. So I thank the Lord for that too. You know, we were able to get out in the yard cause you know, grass and shrubbery and stuff grow real fast down here in Florida. We have to make sure we keep our lawns and stuff cut you, you, cause you can run across a, a small alligator or a big alligator, you never know, bust through your gate or, um, you know, a snake that's in the yard. So, you know, we try to keep our grass cut and stuff like this. So the first day we had, y'all, it's a little damp outside, but we getting at it. And, you know, to save power, the lawnmower, y'all, I am just blown away by the electric lawnmower um, that we have because it's better operated. We ain't have to do no charging, we have to lug no cords. We ain't have to do none of that. And I, I cut the grass, it's self-propelled. Whew, you have to watch the speed with that lawnmower because it'll take off. But anyway, um, I thank y'all for being here and spending time with us. And thank y'all for subscribing to our channel. You know, we greatly appreciate it, you know. Um, we just hope to share our life with you. And y'all, thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next one.